Hey guys, what's up? It's Megan Riley. Um, this is my kind of first YouTube channel. I actually made a video like maybe four or five years ago and I have never gotten around to actually posting um, a makeup video. I've wanted to do this for so long, um, but I just keep putting it off, but here I am now. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I do my everyday glam makeup. It is very dramatic. Um, it's not really for everyone and that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you how I, I go about doing my makeup every day. So to start off, um, I always prime my face with the Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1. I use this as a setting spray. I, like I said, I use this to prime before I even put anything on my face. If not this, um, I will sometimes do find it here. I will sometimes do the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Primer if I'm out of this for whatever reason. And a good kind of cheap version of this, I would say, is the Jubilee More Flower Seal the Deal Matte Setting Spray. I kind of switch off and on depending on you know what I can afford that time. So with this, I always shake it up a little bit. And this stuff you have to keep because it's intense. It smells super good too. It has like a coconut smell. I usually just kind of fan my face, let it dry, you know, sit on my phone for a second until it dries. Okay, I just want to apologize in advance. I did not clean any of my makeup products before filming this, so just excuse. I don't always keep my makeup, you know, that clean and pristine because I'm a busy girl, okay? So this is the foundation I've been using. Another good one would be the um, Color Stay. I think that's by Ramel. But this one I fell in love with recently. <clears throat> it's the Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation. I'm actually using this shade Buff Beige, which is pretty dark, but I've been tanning and sometimes I'll even do like tanning mousses um, and I don't always get my face. So I will use this just to kind of match my skin and it will look kind of dark going on but once I have everything on and blend it in, it'll match up. Okay, and I've tried many things for like application but I find that this little silicone guy, um, I got this from my sister's school, she's an esthetician but I'm sure you can find these at your local drugstore. It works really great because the makeup doesn't transfer like say onto a sponge. I have yet to try an actual beauty blender, but um, this works best for me. If you see me looking up here, it's because I've got my mirror right there. So, just work it into my skin here. This thing doesn't lock. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, we're good. We rolling. All right, so moving on. Get the other side of my face. This stuff does oxidize super, super fast. So you have to work pretty quickly. It is definitely very matte. Um, so it will last all day. And it has a full coverage, which is nice. Now I have very dry skin. Um, so just really make sure that you're doing good um, skin preparation before you go in and apply all your makeup because a lot of the stuff I use can be very drying. Um, so I have a very strict routine for cleansing my face. Um, and I use like the Moisture Search Intense. Um, Sometimes that even good hydrating um, moisturizer. But I tan sometimes, and you don't want to have tan lines, so make sure you get your neck too. Y'all know what I mean. So yeah, I spend I don't know maybe a good three minutes or so making sure that all this stuff is blended in. So after that, I then use my absolute favorite thing in the world, the Tarte Shape Tape. I use the lightest shade, um, Fair, and I just kind of focus it on areas that I want my face to be a little brighter. So underneath my eyes, I tend to get really bad um, 
bags under my eyes. I have to do my nose. I have a lot of discoloration. So this stuff is heavy duty and it really covers it. And I get just a little bit on my forehead. Okay, and again, this stuff does dry pretty quickly too, so you do have to work pretty fast. I just kind of blend it in. Try and cover like any piercing scars. I used to have a dermal anchor, so I tend to put a lot right in this area just to kind of pack that in and conceal that spot. Okay, so now when you're looking like a ghost, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know why, but it shows up super white and I think it's due to the lighting I have in here. That's all right. It's not really that white in person. I'm gonna be using just this little brush. I got this whole set actually on sale. These are the Wet n Wild brushes. They're great. I'm using this kind of flattened brush to set my makeup. I'm gonna be using my favorite Airspun um, loose face powder. This stuff is magic. I love it. Okay, and then I'm also using this little itty bitty sponge to bake underneath my eyes. What I do is I just grab a lot of powder and literally just pack it on underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna let this sit and bake. I don't know what it is about doing this, but I just feel like it works wonders um, with like getting out any little creases and fine lines. And it just gives you a much smoother look if you just let it sit there. I'm also gonna do my nose, because like I said, I do get whew, a lot of discoloration. And I'm gonna get my chin a little bit too. Okay, so I'm not using this brush quite yet. I'm gonna go ahead and skip it right now and do my bronzer. Um, I don't like cream contours. I don't know why, but I just feel like it just never blends and it just looks hotchy to me. So I only use powder to um, kind of contour my face. I'm using the Hoola Benefit. I love this little brush. It's super small and perfect for contouring. What I do is I just kind of start in the middle of my ear downward. I go over it a few times to kind of get a definition. Okay, so then I just try and blend it just a little, make it a little softer right above. But you really want like more of a sharp line right here in the middle. I'm gonna do the same on this side. And then I'm gonna get my forehead because I do have kind of a big forehead here. And basically what I'm doing is making a three shape. So I'm going up my forehead, uh, middle here, and I'm gonna get down below. So just imagine a three on your face if you can. So basically what this is doing is Kind of shrinking features that you feel you don't want to bring a lot of focus to so for example my forehead here putting that bronzer on make sure it's blended it's kind of hard to do but you know i'll honestly just use my fingers and just keep smudging it out until i feel it looks all right and then i'm also going to get a little bit on my chin because you know we want it a little sharp jawline And this just kind of minimizes the appearance of a little, um, little chin skin. Okay. 
Then you're going to take your brush. I'm gonna wipe away that powder. I don't let it sit that long, honestly, because I'm super impatient. And then I'm going to set every, all my work with that powder. The only dumb thing about this powder is the smell. It kind of smells like some old lady stuff, but it works great, so I continue to use it. And the other con would be that it's pretty messy. So normally, if I'm like getting ready for work or something, I will not wear, you know, my uniform or whatever I'm wearing that day because I usually will put my clothes on after because it just gets so messy and you'll have a lot of fallout all over your clothes. So just fair warning, but it's worth it. It really is. This is the holy okay. grail. Then from here, I move on to one of my favorite parts, the highlight. I found this highlight by NYX. It's the Love You So Mochi palette. I'm obsessed with this golden yellow color. As you can see, I've kind of hit the pan there. I just use my finger. And what I do is I kind of just smear it on <laughs> right above your contour. And I then go in and I'll do a second layer and just tap it on. This stuff just feels so soft and it gives such a good golden glow. I also will get right down the middle of my nose and the tip here. Then I set it. <gasps> okay, then I set it all. Fan it out. Let it dry. And moving forward, we're going to do the lipstick. I always, always wear this shade. It is by Too Faced, the Melted Matte Lipstick. It is in the shade Cool Girl. This is like my everyday lip shade. It's a good pinky um, taupe nude color. I love it. I'm just gonna show you guys how I apply it. I don't know why, but for some reason my Oh my nose. <laughs> For some reason, like my top lip, I have full lips, but they just are so faint. And you can't really tell until I zoom in here. Um, but yeah, they're there. They just I'm gonna try and zoom in a little closer so you guys can see. This stuff lasts all day. I think it runs for like 27, but it's worth it. Now it comes off very liquidy, but it's going to set and dry. And like I said, I mean, it lasts all day. Um, I maybe reapply it like two times, two, three times throughout the day, which isn't bad compared to the like, lipstick. And that's if, you know, I'm eating. Okay. I let that first coat dry a little bit. And then I will do a second coat just because I really like the color to stay. And I like it kind of dark. Also has a lip plumper in it too, which is a huge plus. I love that. It definitely does Eyebrows work. are next. I don't know why, but I absolutely hate doing my eyebrows. If you guys have a, like your least favorite makeup routine, like what whatever part you hate doing, let me know. Because for me, it's eyebrows. I don't know why, but I it just it takes too long. So I have used the Anastasia um, pomade, but right now I have the NYX in the shade um, chocolate. The Anastasia one I use caramel. The NYX I use chocolate. I'm getting low on this, but this is what I have. Um, I recommend getting like a little pointed angle brush. Like I said, I'm sorry, my brushes are not clean. It's kind of dirty. Let me clean them. But just the kind of angled brush is gonna do the job. Okay, so I did this one, and I kind of do the same thing. I just start at the top here. This is my bad eyebrow. It's always so hard for me to get. But I start at the top get the bottom just go over what you naturally have and I'm doing this with a heavier hand to 
make the end a little darker and then I want the front area to be very light and faint. So don't worry about it looking kind of sloppy because we're just going to clean up all the work with concealer. This is just what I do. And then with a very light hand, do very gentle strokes here in the front and connect it. Now you want to clean up all that work you just did. I'm going to use this flat brush here. I think I got this for like a dollar from e.l.f. Um, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape using the applicator here. You're going to dip into it to pick up some of that concealer. And this flat brush is really going to help clean up those little lines. And yeah, I just go right underneath all the work I just did. And blend it out. I'm also gonna do this on the top too. So you just have a more defined, cleaner eyebrow. And also later when we put like um, eyeshadow underneath, this just kind of uh, gives base like a for that highlight to shine through. Then I'll just go in yet again with my little brush and fill in any spots that I want just to kind of perfect it. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I totally skip putting concealer on top because like I said, I hate doing my eyebrows and I'm just gonna leave it as. Um, I'm gonna be moving to eyeshadow. This is one of my favorite palettes. It's the Anastasia Modern Renaissance. And as you can see, I have my favorites of colors that I use pretty frequently. I'm going to be using this color called Raw Sienna. I kind of work right above my um, lid, kind of in the crease area. Same with the eye. Really, I don't really have much of a method to my eyeshadows. It's really just about blending, like just really blend. Um, I am going in with a little heavier hand on this. So pushing in more um, then I'm going to use the end of the brush it comes with to be my blender and kind of soften it out afterward because this shade is super light so I can kind of go in a little harder with it then I'm going to be using the color real guard it's super bright orange with this this is an intense color so I'm not doing it um, too heavy. I'm really just kind of outlining the crease a little bit. Okay, I forgot to record this a little bit, but I'm using that same highlight right here from I Love You So Mochi and just a little teeny brush to get right on my eyelid. I pack this on here and I also put it right underneath my brow bone for a little highlight. And I'm going to do on the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to put on some mascara. I just use a cheap great lash because I'm going to be applying eyelashes at the end of this. And my eyelashes naturally are very, very light. So I just want them to blend and not stand out like the black lashes. Then I'm going to do um, eyeliner. So for my eyeliner, I use the um, Maybelline Eye Studio. It's a gel liner. This stuff lasts me forever. It comes with this little precision brush. Just dip it in there. Girl, don't ask me how I do my eyeliner because I don't even know. I've been doing this for years and it's just, I'll try and show you and hopefully, you know, hopefully you get it. I always start at the inner corner. Oh, see, I'm already fucking up. Um, I just try and go in very lightly to the inner 
bit more. And then I really feel like this brush just helps give me more of a point. What I do is go and make my line first, very, very, very lightly. And then I'm gonna connect it down to this little bit. I don't know, I just really try to concentrate. So you have your line. And then I connect it yet again from kind of almost the top half down, like in a triangular shape. Connect it down so you have this little wacky do thing. And then I fill it in. Try and point it if you can. My brush is getting old. Um, if you have a new brush, it's gonna be a little more point. It's probably gonna be easier for you to apply. Grab a little bit and get my waterline. And just connect the corner right down here, the smidge. That's that. So my lashes, I've gone through quite a few, but I found a good combo that works for me personally because I like the dramatic lashes. Um, I need to clean mine, but I'm using the um, Slayer Lashes by Rouge and Roche, and I also doubled them up with, I'll have to put it in the little section below the video because I can't remember what it's called. Basically, I have two eyelashes glued together. These are my favorites. I always just grab a little bit on my finger and then apply it to the lash band. And I just let it dry, get kind of tacky before I apply it on. Just a few seconds. Okay, so after your glue is dried and it's kind of tacky, that's when you can then apply your lashes. I don't really have a method to doing it. I just kind of, oh, I got powder on mine. I just kind of look up, look in the mirror, and place it straight on. Like, I try not to think too much into it. And then smash it down with my fingers so it gets dry. Move on to the other eye. I will perfect them afterward after they glue down. Right down. Then I use my fingers to kind of make sure it's pushed in there all right guys that is the finished finished the finished look <laughs> um let me know what you think below um if you have any suggestions for anything let me know of course be nice um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this if it was helpful if there's anything that you guys want to see in the future um that i can do let me know Hope this helped. Thanks, guys.